first take your cuff and run a small line of glue about an inch to an inch and a half across the top. Don't use too much glue that it starts running over the side. After you've let your glue set for just about a minute or so, you can start to apply your greenery. Here I'm using leather leaf. It's a really durable greenery and lasts long out of water, so I like to use it in corsages and boutonnieres and hair combs and other detail items like that. Continue placing the greenery. You want to cover up all of the glue that you've just put on the cuff. When I'm designing corsages, especially wrist corsages, I like to take into consideration what it's going to look like on someone's wrist while I'm designing it. So as I continue to fill it in, I don't want to go too heavy where greenery might reach up into the hand or down the arm. I like to place greenery where it's going to be balanced on either side of someone's wrist. Once you feel confident that you've got enough leather leaf on there, I like to move on to a different greenery. Here I've started to use a little bit of the eucalyptus. Um, adding different types of greenery and different textures just adds some depth and variety, especially if you're only using greenery for your corsages. You want to have different varieties of greenery and different colors of greenery. That way it won't feel boring or just on one note. Play around with different placements too, again addressing both sides of the corsage to create some balance. And if you start to see some little holes or if you want to start covering up the top end of the brass cuff where you have some of that glue, I like to use smaller pieces of the leather leaf or smaller leaves that have maybe come off some of your greenery or that you snap off some of the greenery. You don't want to have that part of the cuff or the center part of the cuff showing. But you want to cover that up with your greenery and then if you are going to do some floral on it, you can do that there. But for this purpose, we're going to be only using greenery. Finish covering up the glue in the top side of your brass cuff and we'll move on to more greenery. Here, place another bead of glue along the top of your cuff and on top of the greenery that we've already done. Again, don't overdo this, just a few dabs here and there so that when we start to layer in more pieces like this um, bunny tail or even if we start to add in some more of that eucalyptus, um, it'll have something to adhere to. Sometimes you'll need to break down your stems a little bit more. When working on a wrist corsage, scale is important. You don't want to put something that's too big on there because it might not feel balanced or it might just feel too bulky for the person that's wearing it. Sometimes you'll need to put a little bit of glue on the pieces that you're placing so that it adheres to the glue that's already on there. I think I've said this before in some other tutorials, but when working with wet glue, specifically wet floral glue, you'll want to place a bead of glue on your corsage and on the stem of the product that you're working with. And then whenever you place the stem on the corsage, it bonds together. Wet floral glue works a lot like rubber cement to where it bonds to itself. The same concept goes with floral glue as well. I personally use wet floral glue and teach wet floral glue because I haven't had a great experience with low temp glue guns because it doesn't adhere the product well to either the brass cuff or to the cardboard backing and with the hot temp glue guns it does burn your product so I teach and use the wet floral glue technique just because it's tried and true and I've I've had really great success with it. For the finishing touches, I just keep layering in or adding in the greenery components, mixing and matching what I think looks good. Look at both sides of your cuff. Um, you might be able to see some holes or some areas that might need some more greenery. So just take a look at both sides of the cuff and take a look at it from different vantage points. That way you'll be able to see where those holes might be and you'll be able to fill them in with either more stems of greenery or the small leaves off of the greenery like I've done here. Continue looking over your cuff for areas that you might be able to fill in holes. Again, this is a layering process. Just keep layering in the greenery and using different varieties and different colors and different textures from the greenery that you're using. I like using the baby blue eucalyptus because it adds height and depth to your corsage, especially when you're just using the greenery components for a cuff. 
We're now adding the finishing touches to our greenery cuff and we hope that this process has shown you how easy and fun making your own DIY greenery cuffs for your wedding can be. For more tutorials you can follow along on our YouTube channel or you can find our tutorials on our website at bloomcultureflowers.com. Thanks so much for joining us and if you have any questions don't hesitate to comment below or email us. Mm -hmm.